All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to talk about a new firmware update for the Canon EOS R version 1.6.0. It's not a huge firmware update like the 1.4.0 was. It's just some minor enhancements and fixes, but it's still important for you to download it and install it on your EOS R. So I thought I'd run you through it here real quick in case you don't know what you're doing. Um, the first thing you need to do is definitely format the SD card in your camera, the EOS R in my case. Once it's formatted, get the .fir file and drop it in the root directory from your computer and then bring it back to your camera. And then I'll go over to the camera and show you what to do. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you what these enhancements and fixes are from Canon. So give me a second here and we'll go to the computer and then we'll go to the back of the USR and we'll do the firmware update together. So stand by and let me switch over to the computer here, thanks. All right, everybody, so we're just back here on the computer just to show you what the firmware version 1.6.0 will do for the enhancements and fixes. As you can see for number one, it's to support the RF 85 1.2, the new DS lens, which is defocus smoothing, if you know what that is, and basically makes your bokeh or bokeh, tomato, tomato, however you want to say it, look smoother and softer in the background. In addition, it corrects a phenomenon in which the control ring can kind of get mucked up in echo mode or economy mode. Corrects a phenomenon in which a camera may stop recording properly during the uh, Wi-Fi connection. And corrects a phenomenon in which the high-speed sync doesn't operate properly with an external flash. And it depends on what you have in your uh, functional settings. So just a big note here at the bottom, the EOS R, once you update it to 1.60 or later, it cannot be restored to a previous firmware version. But I don't know why would you, you know, why would you want to? You definitely want the better functionality enhancements and fixes. So I, I would never downgrade my firmware. So let me get out of this and go to the camera and we'll upgrade the EOS R to 1.6.0. So stand by and we'll head off to the camera. All right, everybody, welcome back to the camera. So as, as you can see, we're on the menu now of the EOS R. We're on the wrench section and sub menu number six. And we're gonna go down here where it says firmware 1.4.0. And of course we wanna do the camera and not the lens. And current firmware is 1.4.0, update firmware. And before I hit okay, please remember to format your card, the SD card in the camera, and then put the firmware file, the .fir file, in the root directory of the SD card. So let's go ahead and hit OK. Now this is gonna take us a few seconds, you know, 30 seconds to a minute to read the firmware file. So stand by here while it's loading it up. All right, now that the firmware is loaded up, we wanna go ahead and update this. So let's go ahead and click on this. And we want to update the firmware. So we're going to go ahead and move it over to OK. It's just so you don't accidentally hit it. So it defaults on can cancel. Uh, so just kind of FYI, we're going to move it. And then we're going to go ahead and hit update firmware. And this is going to take about a minute or two. So stand by. All right, everybody, now that we're complete, you see that we're up to 1.6.0. The one thing I forgot to mention before is please charge your battery before you do this because you don't want this to fail in the middle of a firmware update or you just crippled your camera and you gotta send it back to Canon. So let's go ahead and hit okay. And the other thing you wanna do here is you wanna reboot or restart your camera. So let's go ahead and do that. And then you wanna reformat your SD card. So please make sure you do those steps. 
and then we'll head back here to the uh, regular shot and get out of this. So hopefully this helped if you've never done this before. So stand by and uh, let's get out of this. All right, everybody. So hopefully you enjoyed this little tour of the EOSR and the firmware update process. Definitely update your EOSR. It may not seem like a lot, but every little bit helps, you know, make you enjoy your camera a little bit more. So those little enhancements and fixes definitely roll up. The one thing you got to remember, once you update to 1.6, you cannot go back to 1.4.0 and below. So I have no problem with doing the update, as you see. So have a great day or night. Happy shooting. Thank you, everybody. Bye.